Good. I can't get into girls. I'm just switching the dudes. I'm switching teams. Yo, what's good? Hey, tame up, comment on my shit, but keep your chain tucked. He was is an angel, but at night I get fanged up. Nigga, nigga, you my seat, talking crazy, you get banged. My shirt says vegan because I give a shit. And you? <laughs> Principal Brown and Miss Simeon actually hooked up. I feel like you would be the offspring of it. It looks like you haven't took a shower since the day you were born. Your ass is still out here looking like Jedi poof. Oh, corn kernel tooth probably got more dust on your skin than a Waffle House booth build ass bitch. How are you gonna be surrounded by all this damn water and still look so dehydrated? Out here looking like SpongeBob when he was staring at the flower pot. I don't need it. I don't need it. You kind of look like that one painting of Steve Wilco screaming if Ever Munch was overdosing on ketamine while making it. You look like the type of person to have a drug addiction with horse tranquilizers. Your skin got more crinkles and wrinkles than a Motel 6 bed sheet. And speaking of SpongeBob, your nose kind of looks like the used napkin he played with when he was in poverty. Shit looks like a squid you would see off Mario Kart. She's probably about to ink it any second. It's people who just see the title think that I am a cruel person, a crazy person, and I am just an animal rights activist. Okay, so this is what somebody wrote, right? Jeanette wrote, and this is my response. Here's my response. Number one, you mean the words nigger and cut? Oh, 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 oh my God, my video's oh, going to get banned. Well, you see, at least I'm not getting an ad for any kind of meat or dairy product. That's good, at least they figure that out. You like this video for a piece oh of Oh my shit. fucking- Every time I watch a video from that vegan teacher, I feel personally obligated to call poison control because it looks like she's gonna start demonically roaring and foaming at the mouth at any given second. I wonder if you held a crucifix to this woman, she would just start to evaporate. She just walks into a KFC and immediately starts to decompose. Actually, not nah, scratch that. Every time I watch this woman, it feels like I'm on Nat Geo Wild. I know she's a vegan, but she deadass looks like an anteater. She could probably smell the meat off your pores with that damn snout. Lips out here looking drier than a deep fried sea clam. Gobbling up jelly looking like the undead blue monster from Space Jam, herbivorous ass bitch. This dusty fuck looks like Squidward when he got hit by the cement truck. Honestly, I feel like this woman would be like the raw entity of evil. Like somebody you would see to greet you at the gates of hell. Like she's just the gatekeeper that watches over the whole realm or some shit. I mean, look at her. It looks like she literally got stoned by Medusa. This woman moves at like 5,000 ping. Like deadass, I feel like this bitch's brain has a five second cooldown time because she'll randomly just say three words and then stare at the camera like a deer facing an 18 wheel or semi truck head on. Oh, I think you just swallowed a fly. What the fuck is your problem? It almost looks like that one scene out of Get Out where the dude has like a melanin awakening and suddenly remembers he's black again, like snaps out of his like delusional trance because that's literally what she does. She just sits there and freezes like somebody just blinded her with the bat signal or some shit because she sits there looking like Garo and he's about to get ready to sand cough in a bitch. Like it's honestly remarkable how this woman even has a functioning brain to begin with because the way she talks for three seconds and intensely stares at the camera like she can literally hear every single fast food order and she just pauses and disgust. I would figure she just has one single brain cell bouncing around her skull like a DVD screensaver. Every time it hits the corner, she just starts to buffer. And while you're out here humping boxes of Raisin Bran and gnawing the algae off of fucking tree logs, I thought it would be a perfect time to mention that your nose is built like a pawn piece off of a chessboard. Every time this bitch sneezes, her nose goes like... <laughs> At this point, I feel like she just shines a fucking flashlight down her throat to get the proper nutrients that she needs. She'll open Target in the light bulb aisle, just biting at the lights and shit. Attention all shoppers, there's a senile old woman rubbing her tramp stamp across the lamps in aisle four. But no, it did ass looks like you just got done beating Gandhi and eating competition. Out here telling people that they only need to eat bread when you post it up by the cliffside looking like a spooky witch off a of Left for Dead. I ain't desperate, got a death wish, I already wake up every all right, welcome back, ladies and ladies with dicks. It's been a long time coming since I talked about that vegan teacher, and honestly, that time could have lasted forever. But this woman's voice alone that sounds like my grandma's rocking chair, if it could talk, honestly makes the strongest of men piss their pants in utter fear. And somebody needs to piss on her, bro. She constantly looks like she's in the state of getting stung by a jellyfish. But honestly, it's been far too long since we last went on another anime arc on the woman that wipes her ass with tree bark. Detective Young Brizboss with a Jew cross is going to get to the bottom of this case, and the woman that probably be humming and coming on her tulip Fuck. Tulip vase. My fault a disabled kid got hit by a car. She'd probably be outside climbing trees in her free time, smacking her breasts against the bird's nest and shit. Probably molly a crow out of its nest with her saggy ass Gerber servers. But nah, actually, I felt like a genuine crack addict waiting to get my next fix. I've been fiending for another fix of that vegan teacher, but missing out on a lot of her beautiful virtues that only the vegan eyes can see. Even though her eyes look like they see everything in a different aspect ratio. This bitch's face is playing on stretch res. Her eyes are almost like a mortgage. She just got one fixed and one variable. Any more of her plant philosophies about how I need to be throwing my ass in my backyard grass in order to sustain a healthy lifestyle. So we back. The shop's back open. We're not going out of business. Is this
nigga serious? And I thought instead of torturing myself and my eardrums along with it, I thought I would bring you guys along for some more agony. Our last adventure we embarked on about robbing a Wendy's, whatever the fuck this woman be howling about in her videos, we basically saw her saying that coming out as being vegan is more brave than coming out as being gay. That's right. Somehow admitting you don't like to eat sausages is far more brave and courageous than coming out and saying you like to slobber on some damn sausages. You're absolutely wrong. Coming out as a vegan animal rights activist, as somebody who cares beyond themselves, is much more special than it is to come out as a member of the LGBTQ community. And you dead wrong for wearing that outfit. Bitch looks like a member of the Ombu Black Ops if he mastered the knitting jitsu. Coming out as a member of the LGBTQ community is an entirely selfish act. It's talking about you only. He low-key looked like Nagato when he was locked up in the booby ripper machine. But yeah, if your ears aren't bleeding already, you heard that correctly. Somehow in this woman's yin and yang placed eyes, coming out as being part of the LGBT community is an act of pure selfishness. If you're a part of that community and are watching this, you should be ashamed of yourself. Matter of fact, if you already came out the closet, you might as well walk the fuck back in and star. If you are part of that community, I just want to say I love you and I appreciate you for identifying yourself for who you want to be because this woman tried to force you to one throw to carrot at fucking gunpoint if she was given the opportunity. For trying to spread peace and harmony across the earth, she does the exact opposite of that. It's like her whole entire objective in life is just to see how many people can hate her. She's literally an internet punching bag. She probably doesn't need an alarm clock because she wakes up every morning fueled by hatred. She has the power of aggression, depression, menopause, and herpes by her side to keep her up during the hours of the night. Even though I'm convinced this woman has chronic dementia, she sure as hell acts like she crawled out of the asylum with a diagnosis because she'll constantly flip her narratives around when nobody else will agree with her on it and then somehow form a whole new opinion that's drastically even worse. It's like this woman is evolving backwards. Each time we watch her, she progressively gets dumber and dumber. This is me. I'm a vegan animal rights activist. I care about the animals. I'm vegan because paying for the rape- We do not care. The fuck are we doing? Introducing ourselves to the whole class? This bitch is acting like it's an Alcoholics Anonymous meeting. This is me. I am a pew barber. I wash my hands before I eat ass to make sure I'm extra squeaky the clean. Fuck? Dolly, I love jello. Sometimes, everybody want crackhead superpowers, but nobody want to fight seven cops butt naked like I did. I mean, look at her. She can barely formate words out of her mouth. She looks like a nutcracker every single time she talks. It's like a fish desperately trying to look for a drop of water to breathe in. I mean, her fucking gills are exposed. Like, she just looks like a goddamn reptilian. Erectile dysfunction? Then rub some Nesquik on your dick and you'd be good to go. That's my slogan. To take in a Deborah Logan looking ass motherfucker. But yeah, if you thought that previous video was bad, then you're in for a long ride. You might as well fuckle up your seatbelts, eat some popcorn, eat some pussy, because we're just getting started. I think she just sharded. This bitch is getting cramps up in her pampers. There ain't no way this woman doesn't use a diaper. But yeah, this skinwalker is quite the talker, let me tell you, because she practically said in one of her videos that if you support a religion that promotes eating meat, which is literally fucking all of them, you should drop that shit. Swap that bitch like it's your toothbrush. Matter of fact, just drop it all. Take a piss on your cross and dare Jeter toss that bitch out the window because you won't be needing it. Throw that Bible on the grill and use St. Mary's urn ashes as a seasoning. If you're planning on going to church next Sunday, you might as well bring a tank of gasoline with you and burn oh that God. bitch down. Fuck the Pope. I'm eating cantaloupe. It's Leaf Queef Tuesday, bitch. Do you honestly believe? that your religion is encouraging you to hurt animals? And if that's really true, it's time to change religions. Go find one that will encourage you to be the best human you can be. I think one of her spring snaps. It's like watching a bobblehead talk. What the hell is this bitch wearing? Is she cosplaying as a Coast Guard? It looks like she's about to try out for the Hunter exam. But yeah, even though I'm not religious, you should definitely listen to the woman that looks like she would disintegrate in a church if she ever walked in one. I don't know why, but I feel so compelled to wrap my hand in bacon and uppercut this bitch so hard that her tits will flap into her chin. Every time I watch a video from this bitch, I just want to hit her with a triple back handspring, round forward, somersault, Kentucky fuck, Bucky, split leap, Molly Watt, red sty, jack septic eye. Are you gonna gross millions of followers across all your platforms and still have your camera quality look as low as a school fight recording? Them bitches always recorded like they was in the fight. Shit even got me weaving and ducking and fucking to get out the way. I'm throwing haymakers at my phone watching them videos. I don't know if it's because this woman is vegan, she thinks she has to record every single video on a leapfrog, but every TikTok I watch of this woman, it looks like a fucking Sasquatch sighting. Shut your bitch ass the fuck! But speaking of other platforms, if you guys want to see me slap a dude to make it look sexy and also grow a few extra inches on your penis, then go follow me on Instagram. If you guys run me up to 5,000 followers, I'll cuddle with a homeless dude for, for charity. I feel bad for the motherfuckers in Iraq. Imagine you just chilling in the morning, eating some cereal, then all of a sudden a grenade flies into your bowl. The religious people that I know about and the fanatical religious people who steal, who keep eating animals, even though the Bible and all kinds of, all kinds of books say, thou shalt not kill. Now, I'm by no means a bishop noblesman.
gentleman here, I can't really speak for the whole side of the Catholic Party, but last time I checked, if we took one look at the painting of the Last Supper, we'll literally see a fucking lamb head in the dead center of the frame. Really hard to miss that shit. Cooked by yours truly, Jesus Emmanuel Christ himself. As you can see, he's throwing up them fours, wrapping them gang signs, because he's proud of the dish that he just served on a damn platter. The woman in front of him is not impressed at all. As you can clearly see, she looks like she's overdosing off a few perk 30s. I don't know why she's trying to steal the show. The spotlight is not her Last Supper. It's the man behind you, and that's why we got Pablo Picasso on the left about to backhand this bitch back away. And apparently a centaur joined in to get some sloppy seconds. I have no idea what the hell that is. Looks like a pool stick, but that's besides the point. I'm not no zoologist here, but I can clearly depict that there's an animal on that damn plate. I mean, it's steaming and shit. You know, I checked the temperature. It's 270 degrees, you know, nice and crisp and well prepared. I even made out the goat a little bit just to verify that it's dead. Die in a fucking fire. And the bread was a little dry, I must say, so I added my own baby gravy to it to make sure it was well marinated. I gave everybody at that dinner HIV, but that's besides the fucking point. The point is, there's clearly an inhabited species on the plate. It's really hard to miss it. Whether it be a goat, a lamb, or a beef broiled camel pussy for all I give a damn, I don't know exactly what they served back in the biblical era. I've eaten pussy from a multitude of animals, so I can't really narrow it down to one. For all I know, they could have been munching on mammoth ass back in the BC times, but either way, it completely just takes your narrative and does an ass backwards 180 turn and shakes it down for its lunch money. It completely throws that bitch out the window. So for for you to sit here and spew out dust and spontaneously combust, basically telling people if they eat meat, they're not going to have a D1 scholarship right to heaven's gate. And pretty much hypocritical 101 here. I mean, I'm not that religious, but you can clearly see my man Jesus about to go chompers on my boy Gompers. He was out here throating that damn goat in the mud hut. I don't know why this woman acts like vegans are a discriminated group that gets publicly executed for even daring to come out to be a hump stumper. Like, no one gives one flying patty flipping fuck that you are. You're not going to get beheaded because somebody caught you eating a fruit salad. And what really gets my mind working and my uncle twerking is you trying to constantly assert brute force down everybody's throats to be vegan is practically coming off as the exact opposite message that you're trying to send. You're trying to spread peace and harmony across the earth, let everybody be vegan, but you're pretty much wanting to make me eat meat as soon as I watch one of your videos. And I know it's not only me. I know I'm not a top tier edgelord or I'm 14, I'm balls deep, whatever the hell the rebel side of like Reddit and shit is. You somehow turn into the Justin LaBoy of veganism. Like nobody likes you. Even vegans themselves can list out a hundred reasons why they think what you're doing is wrong. So if you actually stand by the objective that you actually based all your platforms off of, which I don't think she really is, you think that you would try to accomplish your goal or try to actually get people to join your side without telling a bunch of second graders they need to butt chug chlorophyll down their ass and do snow angels and dog shit in order to get superpowers or whatever the fuck that you probably told them. I mean, it makes no sense. It's like Bill Cosby being a bartender. There's just no role to play here. You're not an anti-hero that the audience will eventually love and get to actually relate to. You're just an insufferable bitch. All the other dead parts of the, the mangled up parts of the body all mushed together and put into a sausage. We should not be exploiting animals. You're right, we should be eating them instead. Feel free to call me a laxative because you never know the shit that's about to come with this woman. Because she'll attack anybody and everybody that dares to look at her direction and try to convert them to veganism. She'll even walk into a bathroom and hold the tip of your dick while you're trying to pee to even tell you about why you should become vegan. And on the brink of your urethra popping and the pee shooting out of your ass, so somehow manage to fit in some inspiring quote like, Why take a piss when there's a cow outside that you can kiss? I'm convinced that vegan teacher has a coordinated assault plan devised towards anybody that ever dared to make a video about her. Any YouTuber that does have the bravery and courage to actually make a video about her, she immediately dropped two 40 minute response videos and a complimentary pipe bomb to go on their doorstep the next day. Hell, if you ever even thought about this woman in a negative manner, she already hired an assassin to take care of you. And her response videos are nothing far but impressive because in that 40 minute time span, her CNN documentary feature film, she somehow manages to not talk about one thing about the actual video itself. It's almost like she edits the video to make it seem like she's reacting to something, but in reality, she just stares at a fucking wall for 40 minutes unless her tits lactate. Any reaction video I have seen from that vegan teacher, it looks like she's playing a game of peekaboo with a demon off a bird box. I'm just waiting for her to stand up and start slamming her head into the wall at any given second. I bet if we put one of this bitch's videos on two times speed, that shit would look like a FNAF loading screen. <laughs> Yeah, to really have King Midas flick my nipple goal to let the truth be told, there's no way this woman is not programmed. To think that she wakes up every single morning, probably waters her plants with the tears of children, probably does some Chinese New Year the pig dance in her backyard bare ass naked, goes back inside to make a one hour feature film of her just sitting there looking like an Arkham Asylum patient, and after she's done uploading the video with the daytime she got left because if she's out during a full moon she start anamorphing into a werewolf, she probably just darts to her local grocery store and starts smothering people with a bowl of lettuce. Hell, at this point I wouldn't be surprised if that vegan teacher acted like the grandmother off the visit as soon as the night falls, she just starts scratching the walls and shit. <laughs> and then I digress to another wet warble of her basically saying that animals deserve the same rights as minorities. Top. But let me say this. Every minority group, and you know who you are, you should all be vegan. You've been discriminated against, 
and then you stand there with all your picket signs and then streets oh you know people are picking on us and we need our rights i mean what the fuck can you even say to that really her nose is literally caving in like a skeleton i think i even see some skin flakes fly around when you were talking you got so much dandruff every time you shake your head it looks like a gift shop snow globe bitch's scalp looks like a weedy thing it's like somebody hit her with a poison bill she's just slowly decaying more and more every video i watch one of these videos is going to be her doing a voice over over a tombstone but the last plant philosophy i want to cover on this dragon ball z what did you miss last week recap on the woman that walks like she got backward kneecaps is basically her making fun of somebody that died trying to follow her diet which is perfectly reasonable to why they did if anybody followed her diet plan they would look like a naked and afraid survivor now, there's no dog tag surrounding the person's name i can't actually confirm if there's an actual death or it's just like satire or sarcasm in the comment which i'm guessing it is but it still defeats the purpose of this woman ridiculing it and being a double dip sweaty asshole about the whole situation to begin with but she practically stumbles and fumbles and waves around looking like a mortal combat character that's about to be finished due to her low iron efficiency she can't stand too long before she just starts to flat out leak so as you can see she starts sweating more than a flat earther in a planetarium it's like watching that one guy that always claims that he's the life of the party but in reality he just stands in the corner and just freezes in front of the bad hose i used to be watching movies until my life became one hey oh my god your friend died trying to be vegan oh i feel terrible oh my god what did he eat what did he eat that killed him was it a banana a carrot I never wanted to push an elderly woman down a flight of stairs so much in my life. I know she's a 60 year old woman. If she had a one night stand, she probably wouldn't be able to stand again. And I find it ironic that she's talking about malnourishment when it looks like if she skipped one more meal, she'd be put into an open casket funeral. You know, for talking about vegetables so much, you sure as hell act like one. It's like your brain is sliding down your skull and you're trying to use all your power to get it back up to form in another sentence. Oh God. Maybe it was dates and figs. Is it soy milk or tofu? Oh my god, he died, eh? And you tried really, really hard to make him eat meat, yeah? Shit. But did you try hard enough? Like, did you take him and just, like, force him down and just say, Man, you gotta eat this dead pig! You gotta eat this bacon to save your life! You gotta eat this bacon to save your life! If the Prince Frog was a sexual novel and Prince Naveen was shoving his log up Tiana's frog pussy, I feel like you would be birthed from it. Like, I could put money on it in a year's time, this woman will have five IV bags shoved up her ass cheeks full of bodily fluids as she fights for her life because it looks like her carbon takes about the flat line. She just looks like she gets all her knowledge from anti-vax Facebook groups. Even though her eyes are already crossed, it wouldn't cross my eyes. She believed that all herbs and spices cure diseases like, oh no, you got stage four prostate cancer? Rub some honey on your nuts and your chocolate cheerio will be as good as new. Bitch looks like she got swine flu. It's honestly remarkable how this woman thinks. She makes Alex Jones look like a Harvard scholar with the shit that she says. But yeah, if somehow saying that coming out as being gay is being selfish, minorities deserve the same rights as animals, ridiculing a dead man that died by malnutrition, even though it looks like if I threw a donut at this woman, I don't know if she would eat it or use it as a pool tube. I mean, with her physique, she makes a Gina Cooney look like a god of the Greek, like a Miss Olympia bodybuilder. I don't know how this woman and think she has any room to talk about riding Jack's beanstalk and talking about malnutrition when she literally looks like one of the soldiers off the Flood Army in Halo. Oh yeah, but last but certainly not least, who could forget the classical tree tale of her saying if you eat meat and are religious, then you're gonna be running ISOs with Satan down on Hell's Court. So we thought we'd seen it all, right? We thought this woman somehow couldn't get worse, and honestly, I don't know if she's gotten worse because I haven't checked in on her in a while, and I thought it'd be the best person to track her down to see what kind of cum slingers and humdingers she's serving up in the kitchen today, because she has been the exact polar opposite of silence since the last time I talked about her, so finding her whereabouts were not challenging at all. So without any further ado, let's see what that vegan Voldemort is chorting and snorting about in the kitchen today. Look at this beautiful child. Beautiful eyes. Beautiful smile. Beautiful curly hair. I knew this bitch messed with some voodoo dolls. This honestly looks like a scene out of a horror movie where a serial killer is tampering with the victim's corpse or some shit. Can you think of some words right now that are banned? What are they? What are some of the words that you're never allowed to write? And how did we get this way in society? And I'm wondering how do we get to a point where you're a part of it? I don't know what kind of English historic lesson you're trying to do with your cinematic pans and camera angles. Like this shit is a credit scene off of Sin City, but your saggy titties dragging across the paper isn't really proving a point here. Is banning words a good idea? When does it end? If we say we can't say the N word, but then people ban even saying the N word, then the N word becomes the X N word. The N word that used to be 
the other n-word. Well, I knew you didn't have two k's in your name and each special k for a reason. You know, the universe is infinitely expanding every single second of every day, and I feel like it's expanding to get as far away from this fucking planet as possible because this yeasty beast roams around on it. 30 years of chain smoking, air huffing Febreze out of grocery bags, and getting molested by raccoons because you probably sleep at a dumpster at night to get closer to the environment just to lead you down to this point. Now, obviously, I'm Briz. I already blue ball you guys enough by uploading once a month, so I'm not going to edge you on. I'll finish the video, but I feel like I can get a good inference on what the message is about before this woman croaks out of her rusty pipes. Honestly, listening to this woman is like listening to an angel that got hit by a dump truck. Over and over again. But going off the slim 99% direction, I feel like this video is heading towards, but I don't know how saying a word that is mechanically designed to discriminate against a race is somehow going to contribute to equality. But that's not even the point of this video. You don't give a shit about human rights or equality or any of that. You just care about the fucking pig that's in your backyard living past five years. So I don't know what the hell kind of stars you see at night that constellate towards this. I know your eyes are sideways, but I guess your brain is full out backwards because I don't see how this remotely comes close to even solving anything. I guess what this inbred is trying to say is if you're racist, you might as well become vegan instead. When does it end when we start banning language. Is it a good idea, really? Or is it better to just reclaim words that have hurt us? Just not let them have any power. That's gotta be racist. Martin Luther King did not die for this. So your way of ending racism is to think of every single racial slur imaginable and recreate and flip that shit into a second grade passion project acronym. I, I, I'm sorry, am I missing something? Actually, you know what? I stand by this. This is actually really empowering. It's, it's hard to talk over these two. I know there's a few of you bitches having your cock point to 12 o'clock. I want you to go follow some bad hoes on Instagram and comment down in the recent post N-I-G-G-E-R. Because I don't feel like natural beauty is appreciated enough. I feel like it needs to be more widespread. People need to know to be confident with themselves. And I feel like saying that will put a smile on their face and a wet spot in their panties because they need to realize that natural beauty is nothing to be afraid of. We're just taking a first step into a great revolution here. Thank you, Miss Katie, for showing me the way. I actually just joined an organization that celebrates natural beauty. I'm going to my first rally tomorrow. Let me know if I got the right drip to go for. Gordon Ramsay should be in jail. If vegan teacher thinks he deserves it, then he deserves it. We don't have rights around here. Only she does. Can you please unlock the fridge? It's been two days. I'm parched, Katie. Eating animals is wrong, Gordon Ramsay. Hurting animals is wrong. This song was so beautiful, even the camera had to freeze to process all its beauty. But yeah, what an absolute boner jam. I love to slam this shit on my way to Wendy's. Her soothing voice that sounds like Darwin if somebody laces fish flakes honestly could put a thousand titans to slumber. But in all seriousness, I would rather hear the sounds of a slaughterhouse and listen to a song by that vegan teacher. She sings like she has a chip clip attached to her clitoris. No wonder why this woman's voice is so heavenly. It's because her lungs already look like a flute with how many holes they have in it. Every time this woman inhales, her lungs probably look like two used condoms flopping around against the animals for no reason whatsoever gordon ramsay in another video he's never changed is still promoting the rape the torture the abuse the kidnapping the sadness and the sex uh, what kind of raping goes on with animals unless you have luca magnato over there at the humane society jiggling up some kitty titties with whitney wisconsin rubbing her cooch against some pooches in the back i don't know i never picked up a dave's double and just wonder how this animal was sexually violated if farmer joe was plowing the cow before it got thrown into the meat grinder if anybody out here would fuck a dog and slap some ass with a tree frog i feel like you would be the first person to step in line i'm just trying to figure out whose daughter is hoeing around the slaughterhouse for this woman to think that unless you're constituting milking cows as sexual harassment but if you actually want to get technical and play by the books here because I know your ass never did one day of research in your whole entire life. You probably read Thug Kitchen once and think you're the modern day Socrates. You probably get all your knowledge from dystopian stories and probably think the COVID vaccine has dinosaur semen in it and that's why you refuse to get it. But I guess it's kind of pointless to even get a vaccine when you look like a humanized yeast infection. Y'all remember that one deformed worm from Spongebob with the lobster leg? But if you don't jerk a cow's dairy berries dry on a regular basis, their chesticles can actually start to swell up and draw bacteria in like a magnet. And obviously if it's not treated properly as soon as it can be, it can get infected and cause diseases. And if it's not ever treated, it can literally cause death. And since you're such a savior of the animals, you won't want Bessie the cow's disease test to be more positive than Magic Johnson at a glory hole shop. But you would think that vegan teacher would know by now, since she's such a scholar into the animal profession, you would think that she knows the solution on how not to milk cows and not injure them at the same time. And after years of research of creating meth in the back of Oxford's chemical lab, she finally actually came up with a solution, a mind-breaking one, one that's revolutionary, that'll knock the socks and the cocks off of any man that hears it. Her groundbreaking solution that'll immediately have every farmer set their cows back into the wild is her saying that that humans should exclude exclusively and only be sucking milk out of human tits instead of cows because we're not the same species and don't share the same bloodline. Yes. If that doesn't confirm that this woman's parents met at the family reunion, I don't know what will. Whose tits should you suck, Scrubby? Someone who gives you consent. 
an adult who gives you consent. You can suck on a male's tits, you can suck on a female's tits, or somebody in between called them. Fuck, I gotta stop drinking milk. A cow's about to hashtag moo to me on Twitter. As you can clearly see, she was getting really giddy about sucking on some titties, and she left nobody weaved out behind besides her own family. We can suck our mothers, we can suck our brothers, we can titty twist our sisters in order to get world justice. I'm guessing this woman didn't stop slurping up her mother's daughter water until she died of dehydration. She was probably 35 going sloppers on her mom's baby bottle poppers. But honestly, what an exhilarating lesson and something that you can really hold dear to your heart. That vegan teacher kicking it back from that her slammer teaching us how to get arrested for sexual harassment in the matter of a blink of an eye. Dying of thirst, being parched is the worst. We'll never fear. Walmart is here. Stop on down at our local super centers and suck on our customers' gender tenders. We have tits flopping and popping at our store. We have hairy berries in all sizes around here. Go slurp up some 32 cups and have a payday with some double A's. Here at Walmart, we make sure you always aim your straw right into the bullseye of a woman's hammy coleslaw. Is her baby gravy getting a little sour? Well, suck my nipple and call me a cripple. We always have happy hour. We have all kinds of skank tanks to suck. We have goss waiting to give out their boob broth. You like a little country? Well, don't worry. We have some badonkers all the way from down south to slash the back of your mouth. So stop on by to see some titties fly across the vicinity. We're open from 9 to 6. And don't decide to go for the left or right, bitch. This ain't Twix. Here at Walmart, we suck on both titties to get our fix. If you're looking for more, our Walmart greeter will give you over-the-counter hand job as you leave our store. Why? Why is Gordon Ramsay an animal bully when instead of eating meat, he could just eat protein-packed veggies? Why does Gordon Ramsay choose to pay for blood and murder when he can just switch over to vegan mayo and a vegan burger? So here we have Slim Katie busting down on the beat to her debut single, Herbivores Before Whores. And as you can see, she's spitting some mad heat about not eating meat. This song has me shaking my knees and making out with the bees. We turn it up in the barnyard. I might slap a pig's ass if shit gets hey, too yo, crazy. This is a top 40 charter. The Grammy Awards show doesn't even have to be held this year. They can just personally deliver this woman's trophy at her front door. Okay, because that's what the dairy industry does to baby boy cows every day. Why? Bitch sounds like the Blair Witch if she had dementia. I never knew it was possible for a song to be in zero zero signature. I'm sure this is a lesson that's already known to everybody that's watching this, but that vegan teacher is also a very talented musician. And she'll go to the extremes to make sure the message in her song gets across to everybody's ears until they blow out because of how bad the song is. So it appears we have this woman performing Kungling us on the guitar tunes, and you know what all musicians say, it comes from the throat to really produce those notes. And this woman really took it close to home because she's out here sliding the guitar strings against her tonsils. As you can clearly depict, she'll give a guitar a blowjob to save the corn cob. But another valuable lesson from that vegan teacher is she didn't have to say one word. Silence is sometimes the loudest thing you can say. And her message was she would rather eat her instruments before she would ever touch a piece of steak. And you couldn't get better than- <laughs> My fault, I showed a snare drum on my ass after watching this video because I was so inspired. But if there's a point to prove, she nailed it on the hammer here. If my mom tries to hand me a ham sandwich, I would recoil in my seat and shove a tuba up my ass before I would even think about taking a bite. Fuck, I think the snare hit my stomach. Every time I shit, it's gonna sound like a Slipknot concert. Does Poncho have a vegan boyfriend? The fuck is she talking about? Poncho's been my boyfriend for three years. This bitch better not be cheating on me. You know how that vegan teacher like said that you have a vegan boyfriend? I just want you to confirm because I'm recording right now that you are mine. Uh, yeah, we're, we're in a really serious relationship. Yeah, that's what I said. Like, it's been like three years of intimacy. So, yeah, thank you for confirming that. I mean, I don't know why she constantly thinks that we're not homosexual. Like, it's just getting annoying at this point. Yeah, it's honestly kind of grinding my gears and getting me it really is. fired up. You better pull up tonight and drop your pants. Wait, hold on. Did I hear a girl in the back? Uh, yeah. Me and him are vegan, but we sure love eating each other's meat. Since this woman thinks she's a modern-day Malcolm X for veganism, she actually showed up to a restaurant and started protesting right in front of it, dive-tackling all the customers inside, and pretty much harassing the drive through as well, walking through like she was Moses splitting the Red Sea. So without any further ado, let's take a look at that. Hello, students. Depending on where you are in the world, you may or may not have heard of A&W. She's out here posting up an A&W looking like she's about to faint, and she also looks like the backwash of Supreme Leader Snoke's tank. Counter, you order the death, you go, and you eat it. I'm trying to encourage you not to shop at these places. Please do not go to McDonald's or A&W or any of these fast food restaurants like Kentucky Fried Chicken because they are involved in these cycles of violence that are just horrible for the animals. Well, maybe you can try following your own advice and not go near them too because nobody wants you there in the first place. You're fighting a war with a one-man army. You're not going to ever win, so I don't know why you constantly try to persuade people into thinking that what you say is automatically the truth, that we should just bow down to you like you're some philosophical god by either strumming up your banjo in front of different restaurants that you probably grabbed from your dead husband's corpse 
you keep in your closet or marching down through the drive throughs acting like this is some sort of social movement that we should be inspired or driven to tears by. And I don't know why you constantly think that animals die an agonizing and slow death. Like, yeah, sure, I don't want them to Chinese water torture the cattle and like put the pig through the breast ripper because that is heavily non-ethical. And some meat industries do do that where they actually torture the animals or make them die a slow death where it's not just, you know, out like a light and then they're pretty much right on your plate the next day. And I personally find it disgusting. I don't think you should throw a donkey into the brazen bowl to get the section meat you need to sell in your store. Like, I don't really think that's really ethical to begin with at all. But to think we're the only species that kills animals is beyond me. Have you ever heard of the wildlife, the ecosystem? I bet if I was out there trapping meth in the back of the savannas, Tony the tiger would come and rip my ass open too. So you can't say humans are the only species that exclusively kill animals. This woman probably watched one Animal Planet documentary and act like she watched the chapter Black Tape. Please watch the documentary, Dominion Movement, Earthlings. Also go to What the Health and The Game Changers. Go and watch Cowspiracy and Seaspiracy. If you don't know what goes on in the uh, dairy industry, go to Dairy is Scary. Yeah, you're pretty scary too. I bet everybody inside is probably wondering why one of Santa's little helpers, if he did meth in the back of the warehouse, is waddling his holly and jolly ass around the A&W parking lot. But thank you for spewing out Fleming me for five minutes about animal cruelty documentaries. I'll make sure to check out absolutely zero of those. Nuts and some dates and put that in a nice big smoothie. Don't buy this. This is so unhealthy and it is so filled with suffering. I don't know, those uncircumcised horse penises and that skin tumor on the far right look pretty good. So speak for yourself. Your side profile looks like an ancient Roman coin. Cows, pigs, turkeys. It's horrific how we treat them. We need a vegan world. I am a vegan grandmother and I want to save the planet for my grandchildren. I feel like it's all in my natural born right to call CPS after this woman announced she has grandchildren. I can already tell this woman has the most unfun house ever imaginable. When their mom tells them that they're gonna go to their grandmother's for the weekend, they probably just sit there and cry and lock themselves in the room out of fear. But let's say they're on the younger side like a newborn. As soon as they hear the door knock, they'll instantly try to crawl up their mother's vagina again to escape this woman's sight. It probably looks like the Sawyer family if you ever go into that house. She probably trains her grandchildren like they're about to deploy into a fucking war. I bet every time they leave her house and come back home, they probably look like they just got done going through a Russian sleep experiment. I'm sure that you also want a nice planet to live, up, live in and the eco footprint of animal agriculture is horrific. If you're a young person, you should be joining me. You should be vegan and fighting for your planet and fighting for the innocent animals. Oh, we would have a whole new golden age if you would actually shut the fuck up for five seconds. I like how she acts like animals are like confined members of society. Like they just show up for IBM business meetings. Like if we don't kill these animals, we'll give the opportunities for chickens to become executive manager of media companies. When you see these kinds of restaurants, give them the middle finger thing. And these people probably don't even know about it. So here we appear to be watching a director's cut of World War Z. You better wind up that mouse toy because you got approximately 12 seconds before this bitch gold spear dies full speed onto that car and starts smashing her face into the windshield. These people who are lined up here to buy these things and it is still breakfast time here. We have the breakfast menu going. Let's have a look here at the um what they have here if you're ordering. We almost watched the vegan teacher accidentally commit manslaughter on herself. As you can clearly see, she tripped on the curb and almost broke every fucking bone in her body. Because a fall like that for this woman's structure would be nothing but fatal. If she did fall, I feel like a paramedic wouldn't even show up. They would have to call down an archaeologist to go investigate the scene. Uh, le lundi, uh, repas partagé. Here, they're, they're encouraging you to buy a bag. Imagine working at that drive-thru. You're just chilling on your phone, scrolling through Twitter, popping a half chub because the OnlyFans girl popped on it. And all of a sudden, you have Emperor Palpatine dressed up in a Sunday golf uniform, right? running up and started speaking Spanish curses to you. I bet that drive-thru worker pissed his pants and hit an Irish square dance because he thought the legend of Lorona was here. Encouraging you to buy a burger. So in this burger here, you have a dead animal who, who did not want to die. So they didn't want to die, so we have here Here's an option that you can buy. This is beyond me. So here that vegan teacher gets recognized by some heartful fans and instead of just actually acknowledging them or just saying hi or welcoming them, she completely ignores them and immediately goes back to her sap sermon that no one gives one fuck about. And when I say fans, that's a huge exaggeration. In fact, if not just a straight up lie, this woman has no fans. She doesn't know what that is, which is nothing unfamiliar with that vegan teacher. Her whole entire purpose in life is just to get made fun of. So this is nothing new. But as you can tell, she's a really loved celebrity. All these people are lining up, waiting to take a picture. Paparazzi is showing up soon. This woman probably walked through the drive through in a red carpet and she probably had a three-way with the bouncers before she hopped out the limousine to make this video this woman in public getting recognized is almost like the same condition of ben shapiro being in a sorority house it just doesn't fit in whatsoever here we have um onion 
rings. Yeah, you can use those as a hula hoop. Now I'm singing this, but do you think this guy here is listening? This guy in the car? No, because it takes a hundred clicks until you become vegan. So apparently to become vegan, you have to do some anti-Christ spawning ritual. Just snap your fingers a hundred times like you're doing the crab dance. In order to unlock veganism, maybe you have to put a glass of chocolate milk on top of your head and hold one leg up while you're listening to Drake Certified Lover Boy. And all of a sudden a tree would start growing through your living room or some shit. I mean, I don't fucking know what this woman is on right now. Besides opioids, I mean, that's a given that this woman takes that on a daily basis. But yeah, for every pentagram you draw, a pig will be resurrected back to life. The first time you hear about me talking about how horrific this industry is and all of these industries, you're gonna think I'm crazy. I get it. You're the only person on the green of this earth that actually thinks you're not crazy. Comparing the Holocaust to slaughterhouses and saying that black people don't deserve rights until animals do is definitely not the best way to try to convince people you're not binomially insane. You vegan from now on. Thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Oh, popping up on the screen right now will be a whole bunch of other videos. If you haven't yet seen them, please go ahead, click on them. Even the representatives of YouTube itself think this woman's actions are uncanny. There's literally no videos popping up whatsoever because of how bad it is. Hey, get a selfie. Just real quick. Hi there. So you want to get a selfie. Why do you want to get a selfie with me? Because I know you. You're great. Well, are you vegan? Yeah. No, you're not. You're full of shit. No, you don't get a selfie with me. What's the point? Just because you know me doesn't mean I'm anybody special. You understand? I'm just a normal grandmother. So as this woman's straw hair is about to fly off her scalp, she just straight up disrespects an actual fan. Just goes to show how much of a likable person she is. She gets a request to take a selfie from one of her fans, and instead of actually, you know, being nice about the situation and contributing to it, she just hits him with a little one-two fuck you question of basically asking if he's vegan. And of course, he's going to say yes, there's a troll with her. But instead of actually complying with the situation and actually being respectful, she immediately calls him full of shit and just start storming off in a little temper tantrum. I'm surprised she didn't spit on him in disgust and start growling at him when he got closer. Instantly went Detective Dick Tracy mode, just immediately calling out his bullshit. Already had all the evidence back logged up. Probably had a few photos of him at family dinner that she took through the kitchen window she was hiding in the backyard bushes. It goes to show that vegan teacher only has love and kindness in her heart to show across all her supporters. But yeah, I think I'm gonna wrap the video up there because I feel like if I watch this mitosis lover for one more second, I'll go into a state of psychosis. So if you guys enjoyed this, slap a like on this video for your dad slaps you. Subscribe and hit my vibe and as always, follow all my social links down below in the description. This woman's poetry has William Shakespeare shaking his spear above the clouds and Charles Darwin rolling in his grave because honestly, this woman is just like a, an incest celestial, a pillar of wisdom, if you will. But yeah, I think it's going to be the last season of Attack on Tulip for this woman. I honestly don't think I'll make another video on her, but I say that every single time I do. I would like to go in a little speech of why I haven't been uploading, but it's honestly just been another lack of motivation. I'm not going to go into like a full deep out sob story that'll have you rolling on the floor. But I went through a bunch of personal shit right when life was actually starting to take a full 180 for the best and then it just dipped down to the fucking worst again into the nine circles of hell. But if anybody else hasn't told you yet today, I just want to tell you I love you. I honestly do. You guys mean the world to me and I, I hate that I take such long breaks from you because I feel like I'm just letting you guys down because, you know, you subscribe to me for a reason. And that reason is actually see me upload and post a video and watch my content and I have a trimester upload schedule like I'm fucking pregnant or some shit because I post every single time there's American holiday coming around. I just try to keep my videos as genuine as possible never really like fake reaction or force energy that's not present in me because, you know, when you try to be funny and you're feeling like shit, it's not going to convey that way ever. Which is why I honestly record when I'm in a better mood or I actually feel motivated to do it because I want this video to be natural. I want you guys to feel the expressions and emotions that I put into this video because I don't want to be disingenuous with my content to have my videos feel like a PowerPoint presentation because of how fake and unauthentic it is. But yeah, I'm actually going to try to upload more. I know I say that a lot, but I can say it with a lot of confidence this time. I love you guys again. If you ever want to talk to me or have something stressing you, I always try to respond to every single DM so you guys can follow all my socials and catch up to me. But yeah, you can even hit me up on MySpace. I'm already flirting with your grandma on it. But yeah, like I said before, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Alright, bro. I'm gonna head out this bitch. Oh, by the way, fun fact. My neighbor's garage exploded last week. I think Ghost Rider is all up in that shit. Wham and his ham. His cum shot must have hit a tank of gasoline. And also, my audio software just completely fucked up. So, I gotta do neuroscience to figure that bitch out. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoy it. Peace out. Hey! Fuck bodies, hoes. They wanna be me up. They wanna be me up. Hey! Pull up in a beamer, money. Just in like I'm Bieber. I just fucked your all last week and now you really tryna see her. Run a truck, sipping up. I don't give a fuck. Run a truck. I've been up, I've been up, I've been up.